Hey guys, my name is Eric Peng and I'm the founder of Daily Fantasy Nerd. I'm going to show you today how to export lineups directly from Daily Fantasy Nerd into FanDuel. Let's get started. I already excluded all of the early game slates for today because I'm going to be exporting lineups from the main slate. So let's go ahead and build optimal lineups. Normally I would wait until uh, we have most of the starting lineup information in during the day for the batting orders to be updated. Um, but because I'm mainly doing this tutorial to show you how to export these lineups, I'm going to skip that for now. Um, so I'm just going to use uh, the default optimals um, for this purpose. Normally I would be liking, locking, excluding players, stacking, um, using these lineup filters, and so on. Um, but let's keep things simple for now. So we'll go ahead and export to CSV. And you can see now that instead of uh, what we had before where we exported players, we're exporting the player IDs now. Um, so these player IDs are fixed across different slates, unlike DraftKings. So FanDuel preserves these player IDs. Um, and so this will make the uh, VLOOKUP process a little bit easier for you guys. Um, and so let's next go ahead and go to FanDuel. And um, let's go to the main slate here. Scroll down, and what you want to do is click Upload Lineups from CSV, and then click Download a CSV Template. So you need to make sure you download this template um, for each slate, uh, because the sl slate, ID, for example, Kershaw here, you can see that his player ID is 5427, but his slate ID is 15292, and that slate ID is the same for all players. So let's go back to this um, player lineups list. We'll copy-paste it. Um, into Z1 and let's actually put um, the slate ID here 15292 and we'll just append um, this slate ID and so we'll do that slate ID J8 and um, quote dash end quote and Z1 so this will basically just concatenate um, this slate ID, a dash, and the value. Hit enter, and you'll see now that we have 15292-10978. And we'll just copy paste that through the whole lineup. Oh, so the mistake here is we actually need to lock in this slate ID. So you can do that by um, putting dollar signs in front of the row and cell, or you can hit Apple T in Mac or F4 in Windows. Hit enter and copy paste that again. There we go. So now the um, slate ID is fixed across all of these. And then we'll just drag it down across all 40 lineups. All right, so this is a lot easier than our old process. Um, and let's save this file. So for my purposes right now, because I'm going to play in this slate later, um, I'm just going to do three lineups. Uh, that way I can more easily edit these lineups later. DraftKings actually has the ability to edit after the fact, but FanDuel doesn't. Um, so next you hit choose file, FanDuel, upload, and it says three lineups detected, $6 in entry fees. I'm gonna hit enter three lineups and it's completed. So we can go to upcoming and make sure that they're the same lineups that I had. Um, so let's see, Strasburg, Gaddis, Belt, Dozier, um, Sano, Buxton at the end. Yep, so you can see that this was a very easy process. It takes you know just a few minutes to convert your IDs into um, you know the proper format in FanDuel. So you can actually you know export a bunch of different lineups, um, append them to the bottom here. If you want to do you know you had a set of 40 here, um, then you can add in another 30 from one stack or another pitcher, whatever, and then you can get 100 or more lineups in this process. Um, so I hope you found this process valuable. Um, if you want, if you haven't had a chance to try out this export process, you can go to um, our premium page here. And the export to CSV is available for both our All-Star and MVP plans. Um, in fact, with the All-Star plan, you actually get access to two DFS sites, more lineups per optimization, uh, more bankroll entries in our bankroll tracker. You can upload projections. You can create weighted average projections. 
Um, one thing that our community really likes, especially our paid users, is the community like count. And this will give you a good idea of who are the chalk plays for the day, um, as well as potentially fade targets for GPPs. And obviously what we've been talking about, the ability to export lineups to CSV. If you haven't had a chance to try out uh, Daily Fantasy Nerd, you can go to dailyfantasynerd.com and click Get Started Free. Thanks for watching this video and good luck.